We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Mets. Stepping into the box, Kevin Newman. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Up next for the Buckos, Adam Frazier. Adam the 2 1. Lifted into center field. Mariznik is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. More of a comfortable side from the left side. Puts the ball in play. More of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up being a natural left handed hitter. Here now the 2 2 he is swung on and missed he got him now at the plate Ahmed Rosario he will lead things off here in the bottom half of the first hit back up the middle. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. At the plate, J.D. Davis tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Now a throw over to first, but the runners back easily. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Rosario gets his lead at first, nobody out. Count still full, three and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Number six. The 2 1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Runner at first here, one man out. Round ball foul down the left side. Here's the 3 2. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Well, the next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Keith Alonzo. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. And he lays off again, ball three. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. The payoff pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He's driven in four runs on four hits to this point in the series. The set and the 1-1. One -one. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? He is as they get the force out at third, and that ends the threat.
second inning set to go. Josh Bell the next to hit. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least. Now a swing and this ball is crushed straight away center field. Gone to lead off the inning. To the plate now Colin Moran. Grounded to the right. Scooped up. Throw on to first so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So striding forward now Gregory Polanco one run in and one gone so far this inning the one one line toward the alley and left center and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases not in time and he's in there with a double. Into the box now, Kevin Kramer. All even now, two and two. Runner at second here with one man out. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. So here now is the pitcher, Jamison Tyon. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. From the stretch, the 1-2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Yuenis Cespedes striding in next. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. The 1 2. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Newman onto the grass, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Here's Jake Marisnik, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Rip down the first baseline. Bell picks it up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up to bat next, the pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. The 1-1 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The 1-2. Freezes him on the inside, strike three. Kevin Newman as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. And it's one and two. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Just off the inside corner looked like a changeup. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Standing in now, Adam Frazier. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Hit out towards second. 
fielded cleanly on to first so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out now that digging in for his second at bat Brian Reynolds 0 for 1 here in the early going. Line drive to center field and he will make the play out there and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone and digging into bat next the big bat of Josh Bell. Boy this guy right here on that last A.B. How about straightaway center field he hits a bomb and as a pitcher you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark but a guy like this if he has pop to hit it out the center field I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner three and one to him now hitters count all the way here it comes and this misses for ball four the second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. Now the one and one pitch. Counting two and one. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Cespedes is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Next up from New York, Ahmed Rosario. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Now the three and two pitch. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. So one man gone now for the Mets in the third. Davis. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Davis. Now the one and one pitch. It's a fastball that misses. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and that one is gone into the box Jeff McNeil no offer on that one two balls and a strike man that's one of those how could you not swing at that one a good take there on that pitch and he misses again ball three the three one here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight it's ball four so here's Pete Alonzo one in one out and one on here in the inning and the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Hard liner to center field. Reynolds is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Conforto. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Newman fields it cleanly. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Gregory Polanco. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And he lays oh, oh, off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. 
Coming to the plate now, Kevin Kramer. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1 1 home. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. But this is speared by the first baseman, and he will hasten his way back to first where he's in there safely. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Slider is in there, and now it's 1 and 2. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, Jamison Tyon. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a 1 and 2 count. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit hard. But this is a foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Wilson Ramos, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This is on the ground over to first. Bell brings it in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Joanna Cespedes. He flew out in his last at bat. The 3 1. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Settling in now, Jake Marisnik. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 1-1. Is laid off for ball two. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now back, the pitcher, Noah So now to the plate, Noah Syndergaard. Slider laid off for a ball. Hit down the line at first. Bell scoops it up, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Conforto has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. And that'll bring now in back. Adam Frazier. He was retired Adam. via the ground ball Frazier. last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. The center fielder. Digging in the Brian. switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Fifth inning, 2-1 to one our score. To two balls and two strikes now. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses. Three and two. 
If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Back to the top of the order now. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. One for two in the ball game thus far. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. So it was a swinging strike three. J.D. Davis becomes out number two this inning. The short hit hard. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Pops this one up. Davis is there for it. One down. Ready once okay. again, Colin Moran. No hits in game. two trips to the plate Colin for him in the ball game. Moran. The 2 1 home. Weak roller right side. Reined in. And there's out number two. Digging in now once back. again, right Gregory here. Polanco. Gregory. It was a walk in his last Polanco. trip. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Liner toward right center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now batting, number 44. At the plate, Kevin Kramer. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. 3-1 the count to the Pirates shortstop. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And the 3-1. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jamison Tyon. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Now the one and one pitch. Fouls this one off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And there's one down now. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
the 2 2. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Runner at first following the error. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Wilson Ramos. The 2-2. Two -two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. High in the air out towards shallow right. Polanco has a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Yoenis Cespedes. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Justin Wilson is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Tomas Nito will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Wilson is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the now seventh. It's ball four. Adam. The one one. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So striding in, Brian Reynolds. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And add a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a three to one game. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. A one one. off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second, and it's a four-to-one game. Brad Brock takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. In now, Gregory Polanco. And it's fouled away. Sent out to straightaway center field. Beriznik is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. So add one more on the sack fly, as that'll make this a 5-1 to one game. Digging in, now Kevin back. Kramer, a couple of walks for him thus far. Three runs already home here.
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Brock, a native of the 49th state of Alaska. He was taken in the very late rounds during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Count remains two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Richard Rodriguez is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Gerard Dyson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Hit out towards second. Newman brings it in. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Stepping into the box, Tomas Nito. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. Popped him up. Bell in foul ground. Two down. Now back to the top of the Mets order. Digging in Ahmed Rosario. Lifetime in this matchup. Small sample. A perfect one for one. The 1-1 one home. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here now the 2 2. Seventh inning here in a 5 to 1 ball game. Fouled away. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Your Dylan Batensis has been summoned now from the bullpen as he'll do now. so to start the eighth. Number 68. Now at the plate, That's Jacob Stallings. Best. It was a walk in his last trip. A 1-1. Strike two, swinging. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Stepping in, Gerard Dyson. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Nope. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base now as we go back to the top of the, the order. Kevin. Now the 2 1. Slurve. Doesn't get the call, and it's full now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespedes is after it. He makes the running play, two down. Ready now, Adam Frazier oh, struggling good. so far in this one and the looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game three. right here. Here's a fly ball well hit. Going back is the right fielder. Still going back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning.
to the plate now. Brian Reynolds hit to short. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Bottom of the inning now at the plate, J.D. Davis. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. That's lifted the other way out to left. Frazier is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now batter. Now to the Just plate, Pete base Alonso. Base. He was a ground out victim last oh, time up. Alonso. The 1 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. This pitch is popped up. And this is taken in for out number one. So stepping in, Colin Moran. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. A ball and two strikes. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. He'll try again, one, two. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a miss here in the first two are dispatched to begin the night. Jose Osuna will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. One and two now. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Kyle Crick. A six foot four inch right hander comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 30. Standing in, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. He's fallen behind now, three and one. three and one. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. 
And it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Robinson Cano will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Two and one now to Cespedes. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above. The oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Standing in now, Jake Marisnik. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And this evening's ends at a seven to two finish. Pittsburgh took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jamison Tyon earns win number four on the season. Noah Syndergaard pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. For the victorious Pirates, seven runs on six hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. For the Mets, two runs on five hits. No errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home.